Firstly, our community is um, devastated by the attack in Pittsburgh and we mourn the loss of the 11 souls uh, that were tragically murdered. We're concerned about the rising tide of anti-Semitism both here at home, across the United States and in Europe as well, where we've seen a rising tide of nationalist groups, uh, white supremacist groups, Islamist groups who are all uh, propagating anti-Semitism uh, both online, in the media, and at rallies. And all of this put together, I believe, is what's causing the rising tide of anti-Semitism, which can and does, and as we saw in Pittsburgh, lead to violence. The fact that this attack took place during a worship service makes it even more heinous. A place of worship is a sacred place. It's a place of peace and a place of grace. It's a place where a community comes together to celebrate that that they hold most dear and most sacred. What makes this a hate crime is the fact that he was motivated by the hatred, not because he necessarily knew the people. It could have been any Jewish person. It could have been any synagogue around the world. This synagogue was vulnerable, and he chose to use that in a very cowardly act uh, to kill as many Jewish people as possible because they were Jewish. The Jewish community has a very long history of suffering uh, against anti-Semitism. We've witnessed, obviously, the greatest uh, tragedy of all, which was the Holocaust, the murder of six million Jewish uh, children, men, women, who were murdered because of this Nazi ideology, the white supremacist ideology, but it was based on anti-Semitic beliefs that span centuries and centuries. The Jewish people are, are very small in number. We only number about 13 million in the world. We're not that many. Yet we are the most victimized group. When you look at all statistical records, we are still the most victimized group. And it's shocking that in 2018, this is still the case. We just ran a, a study this summer. We hired Nanos Research to go coast to coast and document anti-Semitism. And what they found was shocking. Approximately 15% of Canadians have anti-Semitic attitudes. And that's the low end. The high end, which is in Quebec, 27% of Quebecers hold anti-Semitic attitudes. That represents well over 5 million Canadians. We will be back and we will rebuild even stronger. Well, the way forward is, uh, is the way forward we, we've always gone. Firstly, the Jewish people are always hopeful. At the same time, I'm really proud of the fact that we have so many friends in the non-Jewish community um, who stand with us because I believe that that's the solution. That's the universal solution. You know, whereas in the Holocaust, there weren't enough people speaking out and standing up. Today, I could safely tell you that people from all faiths come to us and they want to work with us. They want to participate in this effort to rid society of anti-Semitism and hate and, dis and discrimination in general. And I think that that is the path forward. If we're all in this together, we can solve it together.